Guys, I have a recall update for you that has to do with trucks. This just came out a few days ago, and right now we have it on tfltruck.com. It has to do with the new Ram Heavy Duty trucks. And in this video, what I wanna show you is actually the latest recall and what Ram and also the government NHTSA has to say about it. It affects about 131,000 trucks, but also I'll show you what some of the other manufacturers, Ford, GM, Toyota, Nissan, what types of recall those uh, truck makers are also experiencing. So let's dig into this most recent one. We would normally not do a video like this, a video update, but as soon as it affects a lot of people, in this case, it's 131,000 of these trucks, then things get a little bit more serious. So this latest recall has to do with a relay that controls a heater for the air intake system on the Cummins equipped Ram heavy duty trucks for 2021 and 2022. And very specifically, this has to do uh, with these following trucks, 2500s and 3500s. And if you go to NHTSA website, you can actually put in your uh, uh, VIN right there and actually search for your specific vehicle and just double check everything. Uh, a lot of the latest trucks actually have apps on your phone that you can download, which also tracks this information for you. And every vehicle, every model of every year ever made had, has had some sort of a recall in its past. So it's not just you know based on one manufacturer or the other. These trucks that are affected uh, were built between September and October um of this year of 2021 and manufacturer says here's the manufacturer statement uh, from Stellantis and Ram um, it says despite the minimal risk the company advises customers whose vehicles are equipped with the affected engine and relay and produced between August 2nd and October 9th not to park their vehicles indoors uh, they're not saying you know talking about fires of course fires can affect many different vehicles most recently, we've heard a lot about electric cars uh, catching fires due to some battery issues, uh, but of course it can affect any vehicle. And I'll show you that more as we progress in this video. But yeah, that's, I mean, if you just bought a brand new truck, that's, good. that's a big bummer. And also you cannot park it indoors, there's a risk. What about you putting some stuff, your valuables on this truck, now you're unsure about it, yeah, it's not good. Um, so they're going to be addressing this issue very, very quickly. And of course, it's really great of companies like Stellantis and Ram to actually stating it very openly on their website and discussing it and talking about it and sending letters out to affected customers. Um, here's what the government has to say about it. Electrical short in relay may cause fire. So they have had some reports of fires uh, related to this issue. Um, and like I said, if you put in your VIN on nhtsa.gov website you can always check this and this is usually related to safety uh, as soon as it affects either the safety of the driver of the vehicle or maybe uh, pedestrian safety or other people on the road um, this is when this stuff is really comes to becomes really important of course recently uh, yeah this not super great news for a lot of ram cummins diesel fans because recently NHTSA also released a probe into the Cummins equipped um, trucks over their fuel pump issues. These are the CP 4.2 uh, pumps from Bosch that have to do with, with some failures that some owners were experiencing. There were at least 22 complaints made to the government related to this issue. Um, we also have it on tfltruck.com this story that has to do with um, this particular probe. There's no recall of, um, as of yet necessarily for these pumps and these trucks, but this may affect approximately 604,000 trucks between 2019 and 2020 uh, for those diesel equipped uh, trucks, um, including some of the heavier ones, 3,500, 4,500 um, and 5,500 chassis cabs. And we have a lot of this information and your comments too. Uh, right here on our website, tfltruck.com. For example, Troverman uh, added a lot of feedback and information here as well about the history of the fuel pump for the Ram trucks. Um, and some of you also added some, for example, Sparky had some comments here and lots of good discussion. So I really appreciate that. 
uh, really constructive discussion. And also the fact that this pump is also used by other manufacturers, not just Ram. So for other diesel vehicles. So that's very, very important. And not all of them are seeing the same failure rates. So this is quite interesting. So then I thought to myself, well, is this just Ram? Well, no, of course not, like I said. So I looked up, I went to NHTSA.gov site and I looked up some of the more most recent recalls for Fords. And this one came up which I found kind of interesting and it's affecting about 27,000 trucks. Let me make it a little bit larger here so you can see. Uh, this was from July of this year, just a few months ago. And this has to do with drive shaft may separate issue. This sounds pretty serious. Like I said, that's affecting about 27,000 Ford Super Duty trucks. And what happens here is uh, with the specific axle, for the specific trucks affected by this, the rear axle housing may not support the load of the pickup truck and deform, which may result in the drive shaft separation, basically losing complete drive and power to the truck. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's also quite peculiar. I did not expect an issue like this uh, to come up for a heavy duty truck. Uh, here, moving on a little bit further, I looked up Chevy Silverado, uh, heavy duty trucks. Uh, came up with this recall that was recent from September. This one doesn't affect a lot of trucks, about 3,200 trucks. So normally we would not call it out, but I just thought it, this was interesting just for the purposes of this video. Um, this basically says that this is a brake pressure modulator valve may short. And this is really important because New trucks are becoming very sophisticated with their highly sophisticated braking systems um, that also affect how the truck stops, not only by itself, but also with a trailer. And here it says, uh, these vehicles are affected with the electronic brake control module re um, replaced during the vehicle assembly. The bolts that attach, attach it assembly may not be properly tightened, which could fail and to, to seal the two sub-assemblies and allow water intrusion. Um, owners are advised to park outside. <laughs> what, what is this with all these issues and parking outside? No, please. Um, anyways, like I said, basically every manufacturer can have an issue like this. What about Tundra? What about Toyota who are known for their, you know, very, very exemplary reliability and durability? Well, there was a recent recall in September for the Tundra. This is the current generation 2021 truck. Headlight electrical connector may overheat. This also poses an increase of fire risk. 158,000 trucks were affected. This is a large number of, of trucks and people affected by this. Uh, Nissan Titan uh, had a couple of other, I would call them minor uh, recalls as well in the similar, uh, similar time frame. Front turn signal bulbs can fail to illuminate, for example. Uh, this one affects about 30,000 Titans. Um, so yeah, so there you have it guys. So um, this stuff is important to keep on top of. Of course, I own a new truck as well. And on my app, uh, I can monitor some of this information too. Thankfully, on my F-150 that I currently own, uh, I haven't had a lot of recalls issued yet, which is actually pretty good. Other than, of course, that rust issue I had before which I hope is going to be addressed. There you have it. Um, you can go back to tfltruck.com for all this information, all the details. You can see it right there. Thank you very much.